just recently I was surfing through various Facebook posts when I came across this that just shows us the conspiracy theories about Dr. Fauci are still alive and well and living on social media. Dr. Fauci is probably one of the most respected scientists on the planet unless you are part of the MAGA lunatic fringe who just seriously enjoys hating on this man. They refuse to let go of this idea that Dr. Fauci was responsible for creating the coronavirus in a lab in Wuhan, China. And it appears their sole basis for believing this is that, wait for it, because Senator Rand Paul said so. So of course it must be true. So I took it upon myself to do a little research on this and here's what I came up with. This whole Donnybrook stems from a congressional hearing which basically turned into a bit of a cat fight between the two. Okay, so here's a transcript of the interaction between Dr. Fauci and Senator Paul, which caused all the fuss and all the headlines for a couple of days because it was so contentious. It was during a congressional hearing in May of 2021, I believe, where they were discussing gain-of-function research and its dangers, etc. And we'll get to the arguments that Senator Paul makes, which is just that the coronavirus was created to infect humans in a lab in Wuhan, China, he claims was funded through the National Institutes of Health. And you'll notice he keeps mentioning the name of Dr. Barrick, which we'll get into that. So here Senator Paul gets into all his dramatics saying, can you imagine if a SARS virus that's juiced up and had viral proteins added to it, to the spike protein, if that were released accidentally? Oh my God. Here he mentions Dr. Barrick again, and also he here he mentions the Cambridge Working Group, and a letter a bunch of scientists wrote, which is actually total bullshit. So we'll discuss that. So Paul just keeps up with all these accusations while Dr. Fauci tries to defend himself. Here Paul mentions EcoHealth, which we'll get into later. Paul just continues the accusations and grandstanding like the little diva he is. He mentions Dr. Barrick again. He keeps mentioning that name like it's a thing. And as it turns out, it really isn't. Okay, blah, 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 blah. He really needs an orchestra in the background. You're passing words, you're passing words. Let's just cut to the chase here. This whole debate is about where COVID came from or what was the actual cause of COVID. Rand Paul seems to think he is the only one in the world who really, really cares where COVID came from and how it started. Well, that's just one of many things that Senator Paul, oh, excuse, excuse me, Dr. Paul, he is of course a renowned ophthalmologist is wrong about because it's been pretty obvious to the rest of us that a massive amount of time work money effort has gone into trying to determine exactly what dr randy believes he already knows so now while it's true that the medical and scientific community may not be 100 percent certain of where how COVID originated, but one thing there is virtually unanimous agreement on is where COVID did not come from, and that is a lab in Wuhan funded by the United States. That's where COVID didn't come from. And if I were really interested in how COVID did originate, 
Rand Paul is the last person in the world whose opinion I would care about. Okay, so let's just jump right in here and trash Senator Paul's bogus opinions one by one. The scientific medical journal Nature Medicine is as good a place to start as any. Let's have a look a little further down the article and see what this says. It is improbable that SARS-CoV-2 emerged through laboratory manipulation of a related SARS-CoV-like coronavirus. Okay, now here is Professor Edward Holmes, one of many, I assume, very notable scientists involved in COVID research and its origins. I want you to note the date here, April 16, 2020. Remember the debate between Dr. Fauci and Randy was in May of 2021. So what he had to say was this, there is no evidence that SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19 in humans, originated in a laboratory in Wuhan, China. Furthermore, the closest known relative to SARS is named blah, 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 which was kept at a virology lab in Wuhan. He goes on to say there is some unfounded speculation that this was the origin of SARS-CoV-2, However, and then he goes on to explain why it was not. Next, we have a statement from the U.S. intelligence community. And again, note that date there, April 30th, 2020. The point being, why are we still arguing about this? This was settled years ago. Reading from the press release, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence today issued the following intelligence community statement. The entire intelligence community has been consistently providing critical support to U.S. policymakers and those responding to the COVID-19 virus, which originated in China. The intelligence community also concurs with the wide scientific consensus that the COVID-19 virus was not man-made or genetically modified. So why are people like Rand Paul still obsessing over this? It's over, it's finished. It wasn't made in a Wuhan lab. Okay, next we have a statement put out by the director of the National Institutes of Health released just a few days after the hearing in May. Their statement in part reads, however, neither NIH nor NIAID, which is actually run by Fauci, have ever approved any grant that would have supported gain of function research on their transmissibility or lethality for humans. 